So this is an old tube and shell heat exchanger and it consists of three parts. And your task is to figure out how this works, how to put it together, what the different things are here. Is it easier to clean inside or outside the tubes? You can look at the bottom here. Where does the flow go? How do you connect this one? What is this thing here? What's that for? So this is a plate heat exchanger and uh, the, these are the plates. The black things are gaskets. You see two holes there and then two holes on the other side there. And this thing in the background, that's uh, the thing to mount these plates on. And when you do that, for simplicity, we can take away that rod there. And you place them gaskets up. So you put them on like this. And you should construct a plate heat exchanger that is counter flow, so counter current, and explain how that works. So what kind of heat exchanger is this? Try to figure that out and try to figure out how it's made. So in this heat exchanger you see that there are some uh, walls inside these channels here. And on the outside of these channels there is some folded metal. Why is that? What kind of heat exchanger is this? And why are the walls inside the channels extra walls? And why are the other this, these folded metal things on the outside? So this is a very common heat exchanger used by many many people. And as you see, there are some metal things there. Uh, vertical in the, in the picture here. And the horizontal things there, they are channels. And there are no walls inside those channels. And when you use this thing, it's standing up like that. So what's this? And why are there these thin metal th plates here, thin metal things on the outside of these channels?